You might want to create a custom date if you always use a date at a specific level. Here's an example of discrete months. We can see we have a plus sign next to month that allows us to drill down into the hierarchy, but we may not want our users to be able to click on that plus. If we use the custom date, that plus is gone, and users can no longer aggregate or disaggregate the level of the date. If I look at continuous dates, when I click on the plus next to month, it drills down to the weekly level. But if I create a custom date for month, there's no longer a drill down, and our users are forced to always use that specific level of detail. When you create a custom date, it becomes a new field in the data pane. Right click on the date field, choose create custom date. Give the field a name. In the detail, pick the date part that you want to use. And I'm going to choose date part to return the names of the months. Drag that into the rows, and now we can see we have the names of the months. To create continuous months, right click on the date field, choose create custom date. Give the field a name, choose the detail, and then choose date value. Drag that to the rows, and now we can see we have each individual month and year in the data set, and there's no option for the user to drill down.